good morning everybody you know it's not always going to be beautiful amazing campground boondocking sites that i find from time to time it may just be some urban camping in an abandoned undeveloped lot in this case last night right off the highway i found this old loop uh, this is like a housing development that they kind of abandoned so there's no houses i'm not in a commercial area when I do this kind of stuff, I really just look to not bother anybody and not stick out like a sore thumb, kind of be out of the way. Somewhere safe where, as you saw, I don't mind putting my camera out for the entire night doing long exposure pictures to do a night lapse. Uh, but you know what? It works. And uh, now I want to find a campground today at the end of the day. But let's go uh, explore some more of Florida, guys. Yeah, so this is the small town of Carabel, Florida. No joke, home to the world's smallest police station. Although this is actually just a replica here, I've heard that the real one, the original police station that was this small, has been moved inside the police station. But yeah, they started in a phone booth. There's a picture there of Chief Jesse Gordon Smith. They actually partnered with the phone company to put that there so that the officers, while they were out on the beat, uh, could answer the 911 calls here for the city. So I don't know, I find quirky stuff like this pretty cool. Officially, the world's smallest police station. Okay, cool. Oh, I love how it starts right up. Talked with a nice lady here in the visitor center, and she said that I need to go about eight blocks to see something very cool, quirky in the city. So go check it out. First thing you might notice about this place, look at all these solar panels. Each one of those, I think, is 250 watts a piece. And as evident by this sign, this is the Carabelle Bottle House. It's still early in the morning, uh, but this sign says, open to the public, please close the gate so Zach, Sophie, and our friendly poodles cannot get out. All right, let's look around. All sorts of art. I'm slightly reminded by Slab City. Salvation Mountain. Look at this. A lighthouse made out of bottles. That's actually kind of pretty. More glass art here. Honestly don't know what kind of fruit this is. I don't think it's ripe, otherwise I'd be able to tell. Whatever it does, it's doing it now. Why make a normal bench when you can make a bottle bench? That's right. Heineken and Rolling Rock and a bottle house like Calico Ghost Town. That's right. Concrete and bottles. That's how they made this. Very interesting. It may not look pretty on the outside, but I like it. So yeah, bottle house here in Carabelle, open to the public. I'll be putting the GPS coordinates in the video description still in case you guys are planning to a trip around the same area and want to see some of this stuff. You know, I'm going to miss the ocean. Well, the Gulf of Mexico, but still, I mean, it's, it's, it's the ocean to me. Uh, I'm not, it's going to be a little while till I get back to it because I'm gonna go inland, but I'll be back and there will be other bodies of water, so it's okay. What I love is seeing all the Spanish moss trees again here in the south. You know, they're all over down here. They're really, they're really pretty. And you can just walk through a grove of them and it's, it's almost magical how they sway. Now, is it me or does that water look beautiful blue? Just uh, what the heck? I think they had some damage here. Maybe from hurricane? So I could be paying attention. <laughs> yeah, Eric, that, that bridge dock is not going to work for you today. Yikes. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I don't just maybe it's worth pointing out the sand is no longer white like it was in Panama City. It's starting to turn this gray brownish color here in this part of the Gulf. Just kind of weird. 
but you know I think the next time I see the ocean after I get back up to whatever coast because I haven't really decided east or west Florida Tampa or go back over to the east coast uh, it'll probably get white the farther south I go but for now let's do some inland stuff I'm gonna be going north like like north to go east if that makes sense so. all right goodbye ocean Gulf of Mexico Just uh, getting gas here. I'm in Crawfordville, Florida, and proof that the Gas Buddy app is something that every RVer out there should need since we have a much bigger gas tank and fuel up a lot more when we stop. Back where I was at two miles ago, I pulled into the shell that was $2.59 a gallon. I was getting ready to pump without checking the app first, and then I found this K place literally 1.3 miles away for $2.41 instead of 259 a gallon and like I said if you're pumping 45 to 50 gallons that makes a huge difference so now that we got the new injectors in I'm gonna update here and see what my new mile per gallon is from uh, Panama City to here mileage oh my gosh look at my mileage could it be any, are you serious? Look at my odometer, guys. 66666. Six, six, six. Plan that twice by accident. Let's get the heck on the road and move that up past that. Holy cow, do not need bad luck right now. By the way, guys, the codes disappeared on their own while driving. And I talked to Wayne about that on the phone today and he said that they were possibly just soft codes that needed to be reset. Um, we're still popping up because of some condition or something, but you know the computer has reset itself, and like I said, they're gone. And I checked it when I was at the gas station with the key on. That it's not like the bulb went out on the service engine soon light. No, the, the codes erased themselves. So, Yoda is feeling good and looking good. Oh yeah. Oh, and how's Jax? He likes chin rubs. Oh, he loves the chin rubs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Jax wanted lunch, so I, I pulled off here at the Wakula Welcome Center here in Florida. A really pretty area of Florida, actually. You guys know I love my palm trees. Where's those gators? Come on. The viewers demand. We want to see a wild gator soon. Well, let's go see if we can at least get some maps or something. Swampy. You guys see the water out there? Goodbye, ocean. Yeah. Actually, a good idea to get a Florida map because I've noticed that some parts out there, away from the big cities, I won't have GPS service, so uh, definitely probably going to be using a paper map here uh, in the week to come. Whoa! Hang on. I hate parking like this. There's, I don't want to block their driveway or anything, but I saw something really cool. I want to go back and show you this. Oh yeah, a little roadkill there for you guys. Yum. See, I told you guys if I see something cool along the way, I'd pull off. <laughs> look at look at all these old trucks. I don't know whose property this is or anything. I don't see any no trespassing signs, so it's right off the highway. We're gonna check it out. Look at this, guys. They're, it's not Cadillac Ranch, they're all Ford. Well, most of them. Most of them are Fords. Wow. The sign in front of this one says, may they rust in peace. Oh, that is too cool. Look at this. Yeah, they're rusty, all right. 
is really pretty how they just let them just rust here on the side of the highway. Look at that one, got trees growing out of it. Some of these have been here a while, that's for darn sure. That one might fire up though. How do you keep Nomadic Fanatic happy? Give me quirky and unique stuff roadside to look at. Look, there's more in the back back there too. This is too cool. Definitely putting some GPS coordinates. I'll just mark it out by the road, but I don't know where you're gonna stop. Actually, take that back. If you're in a car, you can literally just pull off and park in this loop and then leave. But the RV wouldn't have made it in here. And it's really, really steep. I mean, really steep right there. Do not take an RV down here. But yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Rust in peace. Thank you, Florida. You're awesome. All right. I'll go find this campground now. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a free campground, guys. This is Goose Pasture Campground here. Not sure what city I'm in. I don't have any cell service, which is just fine. Some of the best free campsites in the world uh, are in places where there's no service at all. I'm gonna camp right here. Got my own palm tree instead of utilizing the shade, although it's still 88 degrees right now. Um, the reason why, I need solar, guys, so. I'm gonna camp underneath the Spanish moss trees here. Got the panels tilted, cause I'm gonna get at least six hours of sun today and tomorrow. Actually, I don't know how many nights I'm gonna stay here. I, I really like this place. They've got garbage facility. They don't have any drinking water, but they got a dump station over there and so dump your waste on the way out. Trash cans right here at the site and uh, we're close to the water. I will just mention for the record though, the road in here was unpleasant. It was seven miles off of the highway. I was on 98 East, seven miles dirt road. It took me 42 minutes to drive seven miles on dirt and sand. It was miserable. And when, when truck, like there was semi logging trucks that passed you with just a huge plume of, of dirt and sand and grime. And here's what my scooter looks like right now. The seat doesn't even look black anymore. I am just caked. Um, I did buy a cover but the cover doesn't fit very well and I would need to bungee it down underneath. I'm gonna have to do it eventually when I find an opportunity. Why is that loose? That's not good. But anyway, yeah, uh, later on I'll find water and we'll hose it off or something. Otherwise the RV is just filthy right now. If it's not dirty though, then you haven't traveled far enough, right? Look at that wheel well. Filthy. A uh, lady behind me is taking out a, a hard-sided kayak to go out here. And she says uh, the gators never mess with her out here in this area. They mind their own business. You know, they're looking for small animals, not human beings in a kayak. So we got the water. If you wanted to, there's a little dock out to the middle of nowhere. I would not go on that, guys. I would stay clear of that dock. So I'm going to close this up, guys. And uh, I'll be back with you here when I can film a little bit more of this place. It's nice, and GPS coordinates will be below in the video description in case you want to stop by. Um, one of the things to just consider is like, is, is, it not, is it even worth going to a free campsite if you have to go so far out of the way? And for me, well, it's easy to really evaluate that because seven miles off the highway, seven miles back, that's 14 miles. That's basically a gallon and a half of gas or about $3 to get here. So if you're gonna stay two or three nights, you know, what's, what's $3 on top of it instead of paying for a park with full hookups or something and uh that's good for me uh you guys have a good day see you in a couple days bye, -bye.